All right, so today I wanna to talk about a very simple strategy to really help you master social media and show up online on a regular basis so that you can you know, eventually get more leads, which will turn into more prospects and inevitably more clients. What is up guys, Emmanuel here, founder and senior brand strategist over at Square One Group, where really our mission is to help you identify your expertise so you can scale your real estate business. So today I want to talk about a super duper simple strategy that you can really implement that will make your life a heck of a lot easier when it comes to posting social media content more frequently. Because look guys, the name of the game here is frequency and the more frequent you post, the more you stay top of mind with the people inside of your world or your sphere. Uh, you you are a real estate agent and when the time comes when a real estate transaction you know arises or boils up to the top they are going to think of you first now this particular subject matter really became significant to me because over the past several weeks i've been teaching and mentoring a lot of realtors doing a lot of classes and things like that and it became very very clear that most agents are flying by the seats of their pants when it comes to really marketing themselves specifically marketing themselves online like on facebook or instagram so on and so forth. And if the small group of people or small groups of agents that I've really been teaching and helping and mentoring are anything like the massive, you know, kind of real estate agent community as a whole, then I'm sure many of you can find this information I'm about to share very, very useful. Now, social media is super easy when you can simplify it. And I see a lot of real estate agents out there really making this way more complicated than it needs to be. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a, a cheat code uh, when it comes to showing up regularly on social media. Now, this particular cheat code that I'm referring to does require that you invest a little bit of time to kind of get set up and a little bit of time to really maintain it because this cheat code isn't really a cheat code. It's really more of a system. It's a system that we use. And once you implement the system, the process of showing up on social media on a regular basis, much less delegating some of this work out, becomes significantly easier for you. Now, the setup process in and of itself takes about maybe roughly two hours. And then from there, you're maybe gonna look at an hour of your time a week. Or if we're looking at a four week month, four hours of your time to really make sure that you show up on social media for the next 30 days. Now that is a heck of a cheat code if you ask me. If you can really dedicate six hours of your month for that matter to simplify and automate your social media, I am all about it. But Emmanuel, I don't have six hours. I already can figure some of you guys that are watching this are probably saying that right now. And to you, I say that you should probably reassess your priorities because at the end of the day, if you can't sit down and focus for two hours or maybe six hours, if you time block maybe two days for that matter, and these two days or six hours saves you 730 hours, AKA one month of your time that I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but Maybe this life of an entrepreneur really isn't cracked up for you. Maybe you might be in the wrong business. I don't know. I'm just having some real talk with you. But anyways, I digress. Okay, so let's cut to the chase here. This super simple strategy, this cheat code that I'm referring to really revolves around the idea of themes. Now, the sheer act of theming out your posts or really what you create each day makes it vastly easier for you to actually create and publish content. Yeah, this is rocket science, I know. Anyway, the hardest part about thinking about what to post really gets dissolved because you've effectively created a theme behind the day so you know what to post about. So let me hop into my iPad real quick and show you exactly what I mean and how this works. Okay, so let's say I wanted to create content for the next five weeks. Now, what I mean by theming out the days, it's really simple. I'm saying there's seven days in a week, create a theme of what you wanna post for that particular day, and then just stick to posting that type of content every single time that day hits on the calendar. Now, for example, let's say Monday, I wanna talk about really shifting beliefs. So every single Monday, I'm gonna create a post that talks about something that is believed to be true in the market and is actually wrong, and I'm gonna shift the belief. I'm gonna say the actual facts. So Monday is all about shifting beliefs. Tuesday, let's make it easy. Let's just feature a small business. You know, maybe there's a restaurant that you frequent, or maybe you have a friend that you want to support, or a few friends that own a business and you want to support. Why don't you just feature them on your social media? One day, let's talk about an experience that you had and a lesson that you can learn from it. So we'll call this lesson learned or LL. Thursday, let's talk about maybe teaching something. Friday, maybe let's ask the community at large for something like a question and try to build some conversation through that. 
Saturday, let's make it easy and feature a property. And then Sunday, you know, let's talk about us. Let's do a post about our personality. Now, as you can see, I have lined out seven days worth of content all based off of one particular theme. Now, here's the kicker. I can just take the exact same seven days and just replicate it throughout the remainder of the year. So it really just follows the same theme. And there you go. You now have five weeks of themed out content that you can just revolve your content strategy around. Easy, right? Now, I know what you may be thinking. We've themed out the days, but what the hell do we talk about those days? Well, let me let you in on another little secret that we use that you could particularly find extremely helpful. And that is to actually theme out the weeks on a particular topic. So for example, let's say that I'm helping out first time home buyers. So if that's the case, you should know exactly what they are struggling with. By the way, quick side note, if you don't know, you know, what exactly your clients are particularly struggling with, then it's a telltale sign that you have too broad of a market and you should really start niching down. But anyways, start thinking about what your particular market or your particular audience or your particular avatar is suffering from and start to think about solutions to those problems or really what those problems are so you can start creating content that revolve around solutions to those problems. Now, here's a little bit of a pro tip. We recommend coming up with 12 struggles that your audience or your avatar is facing. Look, I know it might be a little bit difficult at first to come up with 12 struggles that your potential prospects or leads or clients are facing, but 12 is the magic number. Trust me, Google it, ask your clients, ask your leads, try to come up with 12 things that they are currently struggling with. Now, once you've come up with those 12 things, check this out. For each week, all you need to do is plug in one of those 12 struggles. So for example, if I'm looking at first time home buyers and I'm trying to help first time home buyers, maybe one of the things that I can be talking about for my theme for the week could be uh, credit. And then maybe another one could be loans. And maybe another one can be the, uh, or maybe a specific type of loan, like the FHA loan. And then maybe another one can be all about saving. And then lastly, maybe we can have one about FOMO or the fear of uh, really just paying too much money and, and losing out on a bargain. Because I know that is a massive uh, fear or objection that first time home buyers do face. And then from there, all you're really doing is creating content or shifting beliefs about a topic that has to do, let's say for, for week one would, would be credit. Maybe feature a lender as your Tuesday feature business. Talk about a lesson learned as it comes to fixing credit. Teach a particular word that pertains to credit and then so on and so forth as we move into the next several weeks. Now here's the kicker. I said 12. 12 is actually your magic number. 12 is an indication of really just three months of content that you need to come up with or three months of themes, of, of issues, of frustrations, of problems that your potential prospect or client is facing. Now, the reason I say 12 or the reason it's through three months is simply because after you hit the end of your 12 weeks, you don't need to come up with new content. You don't need to create new ideas. Instead, repeat the 12. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. The sheer act of repeating the 12 pieces of content over the 12 weeks, it makes sense because the majority of people within your sphere do not remember what you posted three months ago, much less what you posted last week. So you are safe to repeat the content after 12 weeks because like I said, no one's gonna remember it. But just a piece of advice, uh, I would highly recommend don't copy and paste, repurpose the content just a little bit. Shift the story just minutely or maybe use some different creative or, or, or anything like that. But don't, don't, make, don't just copy and paste it, that's just lazy. Anyways, super simple strategy, theme out your days, theme out your weeks, rule of, of, of 12, 12, 12. Anyways, rule of 12. Repeat the 12 after your 12th week and you're good to go. You have now officially a system that ha you have up and running that should make the process of showing up on social media vastly easier and it'll allow you to really post content on a daily basis. Anyways, hope you found some value in this. If you want more cool stuff like this, I highly recommend you join our free Facebook group link in the description below. But aside from that, uh, if you like this video, then hit that thumbs up button and check out this video right here. Bye-bye.